and now you can see all our standard sections. In this tutorial, we're going to look at Wellman profiles and installing the standard Wellman profiles that are downloadable from SolidWorks. This gives you access to multiple profiles instead of having to draw those profiles individually. Okay, we're going to do this one in a few steps. The steps will come up on screen and we start out with finding where our Wellman's folder is located. So I've opened SOLIDWORKS 2022 and we don't want to open a new part. We want to instead go to our settings, our options, travel down in your options and you'll see file locations. Click on file locations and we are looking for our Wellman profiles. So if we scroll down, we see our Wellman profiles here. This is the address of the folder that you're requiring. So if we go to our uh, Windows Explorer, we're on C, Program Files, we are on SOLIDWORKS Corp, SOLIDWORKS, Lang, English, Wellman Profiles. This is the folder that we want to open because we're going to drop another folder into this folder. So leave that open and drop it down. So if we were finished with this now, we can click cancel on that. File, new, part, open. On our new, new part, we are looking for the design library. If we click the design library, we'll see SOLIDWORKS content. Click down on the content and you'll see a folder called Wellman's. Click that Wellman's folder. And this will open all the different standards of Wellman's. The standard I use is the ISO standard. If you hold control and click on the ISO standard, you will see that it's looking for somewhere to download the file. You should download it into your Wellman's profiles, but that might bring up an error of administration access. So what you do is, I'm using my desktop here, I'm making a new folder, and I'm just putting down WP for Wellman Profiles. Now clicking that folder, select folder, and that's where your download will happen. So if you now go back to your desktop, look under the WP, you have an ISO zip file. So this is the file that holds all the Wellman profile folders. If we double click that ISO zip, wait till WinZip comes up. Yes, unzip the files to WP. Close our WinZip. Now you have an ISO folder, an ISO folder in that folder, and then we have all our profiles. Now we have a problem. We have two ISO folders. So if we go back to the one that holds the channels or holds the profiles, right click that, rename, and I'll just write ISO standard. Click. So this is the layer inside, let me show you, open the desktop, ISO, now we've renamed the next folder to ISO standard, and that's the one with all our sections. So if we go back, we want to now put this ISO standard, drag and drop it into our Wellman's profiles that we had specified. Click, drop. You'll need to provide administrator permission to move to this folder. Continue. Now that standards is in the original Wellman's profiles. So you know we have our ANSI inch, we have our ISO that came with the program, 
we now have our ISO standards, which has all the profiles in it. Drop this down, open our saw works. We'll actually close that part, file, new, part. We're loading in, top plane. We want to try out our standards. Sketch, draw a line. Put a measurement of 500 millimeters on that line. Okay, close off our sketch. Structural member. Now we have our different standards. The one that we've just installed is our ISO standard. We will say square tube. And now you can see all our standard sections. So we have 40, 40 by 3.2. Our section is available and it has all its um, points of origin as well. So we can locate profile and select our points that we want. We want to increase it 100 by 100, etc. We also go circular tube. All our uh, standards are there. If we select one, as you can see, the, the tube is there. We also have channels. We have channel iron. And we will go back and we'll say rectangular tube. As you can see, all of our profile sections is there. Now, if there's a section that's missing, we can do that with a custom weldment, which I'll show you in the next tutorial. So there's hundreds of sections available there. Likewise, with L angle sections, and likewise, with an equal angle, all the sections. That is how you put in your weldment profiles. So as you can see over here, you have lots of different standards to do this with, wherever you're based or whatever standard you usually use. Everything is as simple as a few clicks and you don't have to draw up any of these standards. If you need to modify standards, that can be done, as I said, with a custom weldment. I hope this helps. If you enjoyed this tutorial and are getting value from it, please like and subscribe, as I'll be putting more tutorials of this nature on this channel. If you're new to Wellmans, I link one of my previous videos on the top about how to use them and the corner corrections. Thank you for watching. Till the next one.